Welcome, amazing one. And let me teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. Now, this is what we call cubic equation because you observe that the highest power of A is 3. And what it means is that we are expected to have 3 values of A. Join me as I teach you how to do it step by step. It's just so easy. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with our solution. So let's repeat what we have. A squared minus A cubed is equal to 2. Now, we're going to use the factor method or factoring method. In that case, we are going to get ideal numbers we can have from here, both the positive and negative factors of 2, such that when I square it and also cube it, if I subtract it, it should give me 2. Now, let's look at the factors of 2, both the positive and negative. You have positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2. Now, let's look at if A is 1. So, we're going to have 1 squared minus 1 cubed. This gives us 1 minus 1 is 0. And that's not what we have here. We can also try the negative 1. So, we're going to have negative 1 squared minus negative 1 cubed. You know, when you square negative, it gives you positive minus. Now, when you cube negative, it returns you to negative. So you have negative one. And when you use this to open up, it gives you positive one. And when you add it, it gives you two. So what it means is that that number is this value, which is negative one. Now, let's work with that. In that case, we are going to have a squared minus a cubed is equal to, we are going to rewrite this with what we have here. So we have negative 1 squared minus negative 1 cubed. So it gives us a squared minus a cubed is equal to, remember this gave us 1 minus, this gave us negative 1. And keep simplifying, we have a squared minus a cubed gave us 1 add 1. So this is replacing our 2. Now, what do we do? We're going to take these values to the left side to help us to solve. To do that, we have a squared. Take this to the left side. It's positive. We have negative 1 minus a cube. If you also take this, it gives you negative 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to have these two are together. These two are together. So we have a squared minus 1. Now, for this, we are going to factor negative out. So we have negative a cubed. When negative opens with this, it gives you a positive one. Is equal to zero. Now, what do you do? Just remember that when you have this, it's the same as a squared minus one squared. Because when you square one, it gives you back one. So we are going to have this is this minus. This gives us a cubed plus one cubed is equal to zero. And this reminds you of a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b, difference of two squares. And this reminds you of a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared, sum of two cubes. So we're going to apply these identities on the above to help us to solve. So we're going to have from here, we now have apply the first one here. We have a plus one into a minus one for this. Re remember there is subtraction sign. So for this, apply this. So we're going to have a plus one into our a will now be squared minus multiply your a and b. This is a, this is b. So we have a times one. Then plus, let's bring it down. So we have our b is 1. So we have 1 squared. And everything is equal to 0. So what do we do? We simplify to have a plus 1 into a minus 1 minus a plus 1 into a squared. If you multiply this, it gives you a plus this will give us 1 and is equal to 0. So remember that these two are together, likewise these two. So keep solving we have. Now you observe that in these two parts, a plus one is common. 
So we factor it out. We have a plus one into, when you use this to divide these two, we are left with a minus one. I hope you are with me. Then remember, let's change this sign. So let's use a big bracket. Then use this to divide these two. You'll be left with this. Remember, there is subtraction sign in between. So we're going to have a squared minus a plus one and is equal to zero. Let's adjust this. So this is equal to zero. Now keep solving. We have a plus one into a minus one. Now here we're going to use this negative. This is the same as writing negative one. It's just for us to open up the bracket. So we're going to use it to open this, open all the items here. And if you do that, this will give us negative a squared. This multiplies, we have positive a. This will give us negative one is equal to zero. So we have a plus one into, this will give us, let's take this, remember, the sign on the a squared is negative. So we have negative a squared. This is positive. So a add a gives us 2a. Negative 1 add negative 1 is negative 2 is equal to 0. Remember also for every a, b to be equal to 0, either a is 0 or b is equal to 0. So if you apply it here, we have, and for you to have watched through this point, it shows what you do interest to. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and helping us to share helps algorithm to send to more people. Let's keep doing this to have. A plus one is equal to zero. So to get a subtract one from both sides, we have A is equal to negative one. So this gives us the first value of A. Now for the second one, we have negative A squared plus 2a minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we don't want to work with this negative at this a squared. So in that case, we are going to divide each of these terms by negative 1. So if you do that, divide this, you have positive a squared. Divide this, you have negative 2a. Divide this, you have positive 2. Divide, you have 0. This has led you to quadratic equation because the highest power of a is 2. So just apply your quadratic formula, which says that A is equal to negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. Please, we are going to now change the A in the formula. The A in the formula is not this A. This formula is gotten from AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero. So to change this A in the formula, we are going to use an asterisk on it, just to separate it from the A we are looking for. And this is divided by 2A. Now from here, our A is the coefficient. This A asterisk, this A is the coefficient of your X squared, A squared, which is one. Your B is the coefficient of this, which is negative two. And our C is the constant term. So we're going to apply this on this formula to have our a is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus square root of our b is negative 2 squared minus 4 multiplies our a is 1 and is multiplied by our c is 2. And everything is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So remember this a is this. So keep solving, we have a is equal to, this gives us 2 plus or minus square root of, this will give us positive 4, multiply this, we have negative 8, multiply, you have 2. So to have a is equal to 2 plus or minus, subtract, you have negative 4, and is divided by 2. Now this negative sign in the square root is leading us to a complex solution because we cannot find this value on a number line. So to keep solving, we have, so this gives us a is equal to two plus or minus. Now this is the same as square root of negative one multiplied by four is divided by two. So we're going to have a is equal to two plus or minus. Whenever you have root of a multiplied by b is root of a multiplied by root of b. 
So if you apply it here, you have root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 4 is divided by 2. So keep solving. We are going to now have a is equal to 2 plus or minus b. Square root of negative 1 is given by imaginary unit i. Then multiplied by square root of 4, you know is 2 and is divided by 2. So this gives us a as 2 divides 2 plus or minus. This will give us 2i divided by 2. So if you simplify, a gives us, divide this, you have 1 plus or minus, divide this, you have i. So this gives us the second and third value of a. Now gather them together, we have the first value of a is negative 1. The second value of a is 1 plus i. And then the third value of a is 1 minus i. This gives us the three values of a, like we said at the beginning. And this one is the real solution. These are the ones we call the complex because they can, they contain both the real parts and the imaginary parts. And I hope you really learned something today. Let's know how much. And if you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. Thank you for always choosing to lend to us. And don't forget to also let us know your own method about this in the comments. We always want to serve you best. See you in my next class. Bye-bye.